Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Precision Series, Lizzie's Raider to Springs Curio Shop. So I've been waiting for this for a while. I mean, it only has been three days, but I've been really looking forward to this set. So now we have it. We're going to go ahead and review it. So before we do that, let's just take a look on the side here under where it says Lizzie's Raider Springs Curio. It also says... It may not be the most glamorous building on Main Street, but there's a charming appeal to the Radiator Springs Curio Shop. The humble abode of Lizzie, her general store and souvenir shop, is the oldest structure in Radiator Springs and offers a variety of knickknacks, bric-a-brac, and trinkets for the happy travelers passing along on the mother road. So this set has been on like Amazon and eBay for about two months now, and I just, or like I said, I just ordered this a few days ago, and... I just arrived the day I'm filming this, not the day it comes out, but the day I'm filming this is when it came in the mail. So let's go ahead and get this open. So before we take a look at this amazing set, first we're going to go ahead and compare the Precision Series Lizzie to the regular Lizzie. So one thing I noticed already is that the Precision Series Lizzie is quite a bit bigger actually, and the original Lizzie is quite smaller. They have different facial expressions the PS Lizzie seems to be a little bit more happy and less dented like this old Lizzie is so I think, I think they both look really cool together actually but I I would definitely prefer the PS Lizzie of course since she's got much better features and then if you press the top of her, her headlights come on and of course she has rubber tires like all of the other PS diecasts so she looks very awesome. And her license plate shows up much, much nicer on the PS Lizzie. It says MT23 because she's a Model T. So I think that's really cool. I think 1923 was the year she was made. So she looks awesome. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the set. Just like in the movie, we can see here and the sign says Raider to Springs Curio with the souvenirs, bric-a-brac, trinkets, Western junk fossils, and I also like the rust along here. It's definitely very detailed, just like in the movie. It says rare hubcaps, you want it, we got it, and sale today only. As well, just like in the movie, we've got a bunch of plates here. We've got all sorts of them around the front entrance. We've got these cool gas stations right here, and there's even more plates along the front where Lizzie would enter and then there is the iconic radio and what we saw on the front is what we see on this on the side of the brick wall right here which looks very awesome and we've even got the little water tower as well it looks really cool over here it's also rusted and extremely detailed and we've also got the fence running along the back this side of the brick wall is actually much different it doesn't say anything about the curio shop it just has a bunch more plates license plates and it has and it has a little cacti right here and here is supposedly another entrance and another really cool thing i like about this is it has the here it is signs it's got one with that model t right there right next to the here it is you can see it's also on the other sign right next to it so this set is very amazing and extremely detailed everything on here is pretty much exactly like the movie and another thing I especially like is that here is the post and also here is the stoplight which is actually cool because it goes in the movie it goes from Lizzie's to Ramon's so if I if I set it up this would be where Ramon's is so it'd be like right near the corner so I really hope it does reach over to Ramon's just like in the movie I mean I would think it would but I think one day I would like to show you guys once we get all the PS buildings I would like to show you guys how they how like the whole entire town looks so that would be really cool and then you press this little button and the lights go and a few very last things before we end the video here's the radiator springs poster that appears in all of the sets this is how the town is supposed to look it's really cool and then here if you ever need help with the batteries or how to set up the posts or how to turn them on. All of that stuff is in this little booklet. So if you have any help then, this has all the info. 
And once you connect the two posts, it'll look like this, just like in the movie. See you guys next time for another review.